Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Chanel Angelina and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this very sparkly smoky green eye look. Um, I give you three different lip options in this video as well so you have different choices if you're stuck in a rut and don't know um, what to pair this eye look with then I give you those three options and um, I think this look would just be really great for like a date night out or any type of fall event that you may have um, in the fall or winter months uh, so yeah it's just very sparkly and smoky green on the eyes um, kind of like a I don't know it's like neutral in the crease and then um, yeah so just if you guys want to know how to create this look then just keep watching Okay, so the first thing that I did was I already applied my um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 as my um, base for my eyeshadow. So I've already done that. Um, the next thing that, well, the first thing that I'm going to do um, to create this eye makeup is take my Hoola Benefit Bronzer. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So I'm just taking, um, first... I'm taking my E40 by Sigma and I'm just going to put this all in the upper crease area and like I said this is just going to be our transition shade. Okay and then the next thing um, that you're going to want to do is take like a caramel type of color. Um, this one is from the BH Party Girl um, palette, so you're just going to want to take a shade like this, so just like any camel color, caramel, um, that type of color, and then on a smaller crease brush, put that kind of like in the lower part of your crease, and just work that in, blend that all the way in. I'm sorry my eyebrows aren't done. They look like a hot mess right now. I already applied my um, brow powder and stuff like that, but they still look like shit. So sorry. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is take the color Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek, which is just like a really nice warm toned brown color. So this is just Cocoa Bear. And again, with your um, definer crease brush, just stick that in the lower part of the crease, just so we have some extra depth and dimension there. You're going to want to take a smaller um, pencil type brush and take the color Corrupt by Makeup Geek, which this is just a very pigmented black, matte black color. And you're going to want to dip the tiniest amount onto your brush and make sure you're really focusing on kind of like a cut crease but not really just make sure you're you barely put it into that crease there and don't go too far in because you don't want to make your eyes look tired you want to just make them look smoky So I'm not really applying too much pressure. I'm just going running the product back and forth into that crease just to define it before we put in the dark green colors. So next taking your E40 um, brush just kind of soften up those edges and make sure it just doesn't look so harsh because 
because we don't want like a really defined black harsh line we want it to be kind of smoked out with the more neutral brown colors so it should look something along those lines okay and the next thing that you're gonna want to do is take any flat shader brush this one is just from BH cosmetics and then I'm taking this light green color from um, Makeup Geek, and it's in the shade Poison Ivy. And this is just a really beautiful, um, it looks like a olive green color, and there's a little bit of shimmer in there. Um, so what we're going to do is just pack this all over the entire lid area. And you may experience some fallout with this, but um, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And be sure that you're not putting this um, above the crease area, just make sure it's um, mostly on the lid. Now for the star of the show, we have Urban Decay's eyeshadow in this beautiful dark sparkly green color and this is the color Zodiac so, so I'm just gonna take my finger and just apply this straight to the lid area using my finger cuz look at how pigmented that is and I just want I really feel like sometimes you just need to use your hands So just pack that all over the lid. What you're going to want to do is take the corrupt black color and we're just going to go back in and define the crease area a bit more. So once again just take a tiny amount and stick it in between the transition shade and above the lid color. And like I said before, just don't make sure you don't bring it um, too far in because that's just going to really make your eyes look droopy. Then take your tapered blending brush and run that through the crease just to make it more seamless and blended. Okay, the next thing that I did was I took my Benefit um, Their Real Push-Up Liner, and to be honest, I don't really enjoy this formula because it dries out super quick, but what I did do was I used the um, applicator, and I took my Inglot Gel Liner in the color 77, and I just used this and to dip it in, um, and I used this to create my wing for my eyeliner. And it's okay if it looks messy right now because A, your shadow is pretty dark so it doesn't really matter anyways, and B, we're going to clean that up after we apply our falsies um, with some liquid liner. Okay, and the next thing that you're going to want to do is take the color Cocoa Bear that we had used for the crease area and put this on a larger pencil brush and take this onto the lower lash line. And this is just going to really warm up the entire look and make it look smoky. And be sure to really take your time while doing the under eye area. And it's okay if it goes a little lower than your lash line. Um, I find that it almost looks a little bit better when it does instead of so precise because it's a nighttime look. And you don't need it to be 
I don't know, 100% wearable, I guess. And make sure you're bringing this into the wing as well and just kind of tying everything together. Next, what I did was I took the color Poison Ivy from Makeup Geek and I applied this to the same pencil brush, the larger one that I'm using for the bottom area, I mean for the lower lash line. And then I'm just mixing that into the Cocoa Bear color. And honestly, I didn't want to put the color Zodiac from Urban Decay that we used on the lid, the sparkly color, onto um, the eye area, I mean the lower lash line, just because I felt like that would have been a little bit too much. Okay, now that I'm looking at my left eye and my right eye, I can kind of tell the difference between using Max Fix Plus and the side that I didn't. So what I'm going to do is take my flat shader brush that I had used, take my Fix Plus, spray the brush, take the same Zodiac color, and of course dip that in there. I can just see the difference so much. I didn't even notice how much of a difference it made, but I guess applying your shadow wet is, I don't know, looks really good. That's it. And it's just a really pretty, almost pinky highlight. And I thought that this would just really complement the look. So take that and put it under the lower lash line area. I mean, the under your brow bone area. And take it all the way in. And this is just really going to help open up the look and open up your eye. And also stick this into the inner corner. Next, curl your lashes. Then apply your favorite mascara. Go back in with the Cocoa Bear shade and just take any angled flat brush, dip that in, and I'm really just going to concentrate on the lower lash line and make sure that there's no gaps or anything weird like that under there. So the next thing that I'm going to do to hide the eyelash band is just take a liquid NYX eyeliner and go over that. Whoa, what is in my eyelash? Okay, and that's it for the eyes. Now I'm just taking this Urban Decay Makeup All Nighter Setting Spray. And I have tried this. I know I told you guys that I would let you know how I liked it, and I really like it. So, yeah, I find that it really makes my um, makeup last all, all throughout the night, and it's really good. So, next, what I'm going to do is give you guys three different lip options. Um, okay, guys, so this would be the first lipstick that... Personally, I would wear with this eye makeup look just because it's more natural and um, I think that it doesn't overpower the eye makeup. Okay guys, so this is the second lip option and this is just a very beautiful red color. Um, this would be good for any holiday look or party or anything okay, like that. Yeah. So this is the third and final lip option. It's more of a mauve kind of color and... Alright you guys, so that was everything that you guys needed to know on how to create this fall smoky eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know which lip color suited you the best and or which one you would pair this and look if with. If you guys have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.
Oh, new child syndrome. This is it. So, I wasn't going to do my hair in this video, but then I thought about it and I'm just like, well, if this is a date time, date time? If this is a date look, why wouldn't you do your hair, you know? So, I'm just going to not be lazy and just stick a couple tracks in. Grace ball. Like, really? After two days? Come on. Freaking ugh, work. That goes on my lip. 